Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to the best Pride Keeper build in Deep Oaken, okay? It's actually the finale, so if you haven't watched part 1 and part 2, go ahead and watch that, because guys, you guys have to see how busted this new legendary weapon they added is. Because I, I'm not glazing when I say it's the best legendary weapon in the game. Like, just look at it, bro. But anyways, I started this build like two days ago, and we're almost finished now, so... Let's just get started with the finale of this progression. So in part 2, I ended off with me almost getting manor key and then we got uh, ganked towards the end and i decided to end the progression there so let's actually get manor key this time uh the reason we want manor key guys is because we have to uncap our flame charm because right now we have 75 flame charm so we want to uncap our flame charm get to 80 and also level up all our flame monsters to level 5 so that we're not actually doing baby damage so let's go ahead and head to um the lord regent and get our little manor key and that's also meaning we're gonna have to fight duke but we got that all right guys uh, we are at Lord Regent's Manor. Let's go inside since we have an audience with him. And let's just pick up the manor key real quick. Also, our food and hunger is fairly low. So I'm going to go ahead and buy some mushroom omelets, which is going to increase our weapon damage by 5%. So let's say, uh, no, recruit my service. What do you need from Etria? And let's say, I'll go. Boom, we have manor key now. Uh, the door in the server for Duke is actually open. So let's just head to Loricia, but let's just... Um, buy some food first because our hunger and thirst is in shambles right all right let's just buy 14 of these and let's eat this stuff up bruh i'm feeling gluttonous today okay num 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 and okay now that we have manor key let's head to duke and uncap our flame charm and then we can level up all of these mantras to level four we are going to need like 5,000 notes for that though so hopefully we encounter some max level that are balling on notes we're at lower Aresia. uh let's just head on over to duke guys it's like 1 a.m. for me right now and so much people ask me in the comments like super do you even sleep why do you post all your progressions at 3 a.m. it's because bro these progressions take so much time and i just do them all in one day so i start at like 10 a.m. and then they just go until like like 3 a.m. on our or like they go until like um 1 a.m. and then i spend like an hour on the thumbnail an hour rendering an hour editing it's a lot it's a lot of time you know but since it's 1 a.m. right now there's barely any people playing deep Woken, so we shouldn't be attacked at all but if they do attack us it's gonna be a drastic mistake because like we're just super uh overpowered right now <laughs> this weapon's insane but uh yeah let's just head on over to duke and i feel like duke is gonna be pretty easy for us to be honest i guess we'll see let me just make sure this the, the manor key is still active let me see yeah it is also since i'm here let me do this uh sharko quest because it's gonna give us a extra talent hand on completion so the next sharko we see that sharko is gonna get something coming to it you know i right, hear sharko right here all right, let's just uh, knock the Sharker real quick. Or not knock, but just defeat it. There we go. We'll complete the quest on our way out, but let's just keep on heading to Duke because I want to beat him as fast as possible, you know? All right, we're here. Why is this already opened? Bro, is there someone doing it already? Huh? Let me check my manor key. It says it's good, but it's already opened. How do I, like, spawn the mobs? Let me check. I guess I'm going to have to server hop, so let me just server hop real quick. All right, I found a server with a closed gate. Manor key's glowing. Let's open it up. And, uh, all right. What I'm going to do is let me just clear out these two brain suckers real quick. And since the new legendary weapon has an insane AoE, I'm not going to attack these guys straight away. Instead, I'm going to aggro all of them. Okay, and we're just going to use, we're going to abuse our hyper armor basically. So let's just dodge all of this. And now let's do this. That is not what I want to do actually. But okay, let me just eight, wait for my critical. And I'll show you guys what I want to do. What I want to do, oh, bro, why am I getting infinite comboed? What I want to do was this actually. So boom, boom. And yeah. Bro, we don't even have to, like, worry about gripping these guys, because we can just put them on fire. When I say, guys, this is, like, the most fun weapon I've ever played, I really do mean it, because it's just perfect for me. And green is my favorite color, too. So that's why I don't get why people hate on green. I love green. All right, guys, now that we're in Duke's uh, actual dungeon, this is going to be one of the easiest Dukes I've ever done in my life at level 15, considering the fact that we have a legendary weapon that is stupidly strong, right? Hold on. Like, look, I even hit the minions just one time with the critical, and they're already knocked. If I was on any other weapon, I would have to hit them, like, three times. But all it takes is just one hit. I could even just, like, stat check these golems. Like, this weapon is not only insane in uh, PvP, but it's also really insane for PvE as well. I'm saying this even though I'm getting, like, just demolished right now. Look, I just held M1 and stat checked them. I, was, I turned out fine, right? So... Let's go ahead and go to Duke, and I might make a PvE build with this legendary weapon, just because of how strong it is in general. But, um, okay, let's go to Duke now. Duke, let me talk to you. 
blah 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 let's get rid of these brain suckers real quick because they are low-key in the way and uh, all right let's work on getting rid of duke shield i feel like if i just bam the critical it's gonna be a lot easier since not a lot of people know this but if you think like you get rid of duke's like posture shield based off like how many times you hit the shield that's not true it's actually based off like damage if you hit you could hit duke shield like a thousand times dealing only one damage per hit but if you hit duke shield with a thousand damage move it's gonna uh break the same way right like it only requires one hit from the thousand damage move and it requires a thousand hits from the one damage move so i'll just cut i'll just cut to when uh duke shield is oh it's right gone look how fast that was guys too I i'm not gonna lie to you guys unpopular opinion but i feel like is like a thousand times easier once he doesn't have his shield because then you can just back him up in the corner and just play with him right and i can uh stack up my chain perfection stacks and there's really nothing he can even do here i'm gonna try my best not to get hit even though i just got hit like literally right now and as long as it's my critical duke is done for man <sighs> all right oh he spawned his minions we can get rid of them in literally one hit we do don't even have to worry about gripping them as long as we do that bam they're on fire and uh more minions already boom boom that's all of them gone or still two more left but now that's all of them gone and uh all right duke you have no more minions to spawn goodbye young one ba, ba. i'm gonna do my best not to hit because uh if we get chain perfections here it's literally two times damage i almost got hit there but we're balling bro once duke gets turned to the plushy with plusification it's so over for him there's some stuff i'm about to do to him and real life and oh my god guys server h three minutes level 15 not even max pv scaling and we just beat duke a super fast boom flame charm unbounded let's check the chest a drowned brown adventurer coat with six percent monster art damage 11 hp and five percent monster armor is pretty good actually uh let's take all this stuff so we can resell it and boys this weapon is insane <gasps> actually insane let's go ahead and get 80 flame charm real quick so we can just use this we definitely have enough points to get the 80 oh we got to help her out hold on all right let's use our heart gem there we go boom guys we have 80 flame charm perfect and now what we're gonna do boys is let's go to the other luminate and um level up our flame mantra so that they're doing actual damage because right now they're not doing that much damage since they're level one but that's the reason we got 80 flame just so we can get level five mantras so let's head to the early minute now boys and also report back to arthur so we can get our plus one uh talent from killing the charco all right let's talk to you boom and let's just quit this quest because it is bugged visually but we got the plus one talent on our next level up now and uh all right new luminate we go boys also guys i know the the requirements to equip this new legend weapon changed in the latest update but you still need the 65 heavy weapon because this does scale off of both heavy and flame it scales pretty evenly actually so this build is not outdated it still is the best build for this weapon they just lowered the requirement that's really it just because they lowered it doesn't mean you only have to go that minimum right but anyways let's just keep going the song all right guys we're in there illuminate uh let me just go ahead and void walk around some max levels and get 5,000 notes total so we can actually level up all of our flame mantras so i will be right back literally right back all right uh there's two max levels here and i tried ask asking them for notes but they just kept ignoring me so i'm just gonna fight them instead so uh yeah let's just do flame leap i think i'm gonna target the shadow guy first i'm not gonna lie to you guys he has a spear so if we do the oh my god <laughs> he said w super all right come here let's do onslaught let's bull rush into how did i even get hit by that i i'm so silly bro i'm actually so silly here let's flame leap this dude is just ignoring me jesus oh my god he brought his friends a fist user with iron sing stuff is looking grim but you do the critical okay and stuff is no longer looking grim onslaught nice we hit that okay he may have brought his friends but you know what he didn't bring was oh i need to get in there oh my god now i'm just stuck with this boy okay let's do this nice low hyper armor okay into the fire oh okay we just got pushed away um our lightning cloak is almost off cooldown i want to get away from the uh legion stasis guy i feel like i can definitely oh my god bro why are the npcs on me like this okay let's pop lightning cloak and let's just beat this guy up that's all we need bro why is this npc still on me like there's no way right and how is he not getting flung with uh with the the grand javelin thing but okay let's just out m1 this fist weapon 
with a literal heavy weapon. We are unironically <gasps> as fast as his weapon right now, which is actually insane, I feel. He said, gah. No, get away from me. Oh, come here. Come here. Boom. Did we push him off? No, we pushed off the NPC. Okay, I'm going to burn. Oh, it's all over for me. It's all over. Chip damage too. It's so... How, how am I alive? How am I alive? Okay, how am I actually alive? I just got hit there. I'm not going to lie. <gasps> how am I actually alive? I don't get it. Jeez, man. I'm just going to... Oh, he's here. Get away from me. Bro, how am I alive right now? Oh, my God. Ah! What is happening? Dodge. Jesus. No. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to drop all the way down. Wait, I made that. I actually made that. Holy. Holy. What is happening right now? What is happening? How am I? He's, he's crouching. Wait, this was TP Bell? This was TP Bell? What? I thought that was Tranquil Circle. What did he just do to me? Oh my god. That was TP Bell. I thought he just placed down Tranquil Circle. I was like, huh, why did my fire blade hit? What a crazy bounty. I'm not kidding. I just want notes, man. I just want I just want notes. Okay. Well, that was something. I still need my notes though, so let's just heal up and uh go to some more people. Alright, we're all healed up. Uh let's go just find some more max levels to beg. Okay. Oh my god, this guy gave me a thousand. Please, I need 4k. Okay, gave me another band. Two more bands. Okay, one more band. Okay, we're balling. We have 5,000 notes. Oh, he, he slid us an extra band. Thank you. Oh, another band? Okay, let's go to uh, the flame the flame keeper trainer now. <laughs> what a wildly different experience. We can just use the Void Mother to get back to Song Seeker since I never actually used my Void Eye at any other place than Song Seeker. So, boom, I pushed the part and boom. We're at Song Seeker. Let's go to the flame trainer now and level up all our flame mantras. That boy was balling, bro. All right, we're at the flame trainer. Uh, hell yes, I have. Okay, let's level up all this stuff. We can level it all to level five. I'm gonna level up literally everything here since we are balling like that. And perfect. One thing I, I need still need to level up is our flame assault. So let me just do that real quick. Okay, let's lower our flame assault to level five. We can't equip the flame assault right now since we don't have enough mantra slots, but once we get our oath, we will be able to. So let's just put that back in our inventory. And boom, all our flame mantras are now level five. Perfect. All right, guys, now that our fire monsters are now level five let's level up real quick so i'm gonna put my points into agility because we still need jet striker and we are far from getting our oath right so let's buy the ankle weights real quick boom okay and let's just level up our agility boys and the reason we're going jet striker guys on a pvp build is because we're gonna start running it's because jet striker um every hit like if i were to hit this guy right now i'll get speed boost on that hit and if we get speed demon basically we get bleed on every single hit guaranteed this was confirmed when I was doing my Jet Striker prog, rest in peace that prog, okay? When I was hitting people and I was proccing bleed on every single hit. So you literally get a 30% damage increase on Jet Striker permanently. So uh, let's just see what talents we got. Let's get, let's see, let's get closed circuit. All right, and now we'll get Agitank Spark so we can get Emperor Flames. Okay, there we go. And boom, Emperor Flames. We also want Immolation as well, so we take less damage to fire. So I'll get Emperor's Flame now and we'll get Immolation later. Immolation. And perfect, we got Rising Thunder, actually what we wanted. So let's take that, we'll replace Onslaught, right? And okay, we're balling. Uh, we have Flame Assault, and we can't really use it right now until we get extra uh, Mantra slots. So we do need to get our Oath fast. One thing I want to do though, is because I went Weapon first, like in Trial 1, I went Weapon first, because I was just trying to get this weapon straight away, right, right guys? So because I did that, I actually didn't get all the talents that I actually wanted, and all the Mantras I actually wanted. like. There are some mantras I want to replace because there are like some Thundercall mantras I actually want, like Grand Javelin, that we're not going to be able to get in this progression unless, bro, we get enough knowledge for it. And right now I have 24 knowledge, but that is just not enough at all for what we actually want. We also had to get rid of Fireforge because we only got Fireforge for the Parson Talents. So let's leave this place real quick. I was depart and let's actually go to a Whirlpool. We're going to be doing Layer 2 for uh, knowledge. Okay, guys, just a quick Layer 2 run. And I feel like once I beat Ethron, I'm definitely going to have enough Bell EXP for Bell. Most definitely, right? Because I've done so much. 
So we're just gonna go ahead and do layer two real quick, boys. All right, spawn my ship. Let's just go to a whirlpool. All right, whirlpool right here. I'm just gonna ram my ship into it because I don't really care about dinghy. And down to the depths we go. All right, we're in the depths and we actually spawn pretty close to Castle Light. So let's just run on over there real quick. And since we're level 16, we don't actually have to ask anyone to like open the portal for us, which is actually very nice. Bro, I checked the update logs and they made an update that makes it a lot easier for like lower levels to have max scaling PV damage. Like if you were a level one flying a Sharko, instead of taking you like five minutes straight, like a pairing and a morning, probably only take you like two minutes now. So us being Etheron and us being Chaser is actually gonna be, what did I just climb on? I just climbed on air. Us being Etheron and Chaser is gonna actually be pretty quick, especially since we have a heavy weapon that deals 40 damage in M1 with 0.7 swing speed, plus we have Lightning Cloak swinging at the speed of a dagger. It's just gonna be too easy, and uh, yeah. All right, guys, we're here. Let's talk to you, blah, blah, blah. I'm ready, and now let's go down. Bro, this weapon is amazing. Just some random glaze. We're in layer two. Bro, why is it a Kali server? I have 140 ping. And bro, every single time I complain about ping, there's always some guy in kind like, uh, actually, Super, I have 900 ping daily. And the fact that you're complaining about 140 ping, psh, man, if I had 140 ping, I'd be living the dream right now. I'd be the number one debugging player, bro. <sighs> Just because I have bad ping and you have worse ping, doesn't mean we both don't have bad ping, okay? Instant servers, servers, servers should be like your ping since you're the only person here. I don't know why it's putting me in a Cali server, like a server in the opposite side of the map for me. Not map. Bro, this is, the world is, the US is not a Fortnite map. I mean, like, the opposite side of the US for me. But we got the key. Let's open the door. I am a little laggy, but it sh I should be fine, I think. I, I actually don't have a last win on this guy, uh, build, guys. So if I wipe here, it's low-key cooked. I'm low-key cooked. So we have Warrior's Respite, though. So we should be fine on that. Because I remember last time I did Layer 2, um, I didn't have Warrior's Respite. And it was actually dreadful and painful. Usually, I would just drop down there and get the Gale Wax. But because this is a legendary weapon... Legendary weapons can't be enchanted, which means uh, we're not actually doing this for Deep Shore Fossil. We're only doing this for knowledge, right? So we don't actually have to go out of our way to get the Deep Shore Fossil, which is like most of our time that we spend in Layer 2. Because when I'm getting Deep Shore Fossil in the same Layer 2 run, it my light hook runs out before I even get the Chaser. Compared to like when I'm not doing Deep Shore Fossil, I get the Chaser in like 10 minutes, right? So it's significantly faster. Let's just head to the Bone Keeper now. And hopefully our parasites are not cruel to us. And don't uh, start eating at me. All right, Bone Keeper, spawn in front of me, please. Uh, bro, why do you spawn all the way back there? I don't want to walk there. All right, let's just parry, bro. And I just want to see how fast he actually gets knocked. Because keep in mind, guys, we have no flying clarity right now. So you guys see he's being put on fire. But then the fire goes away. That's because instead of him burning, we just get a 10% extra damage boost. And we're only level 16 right now. So we don't have the best um scaling but he should be knocked soon i also want charge return charge return is just a free oh my god he actually got to feed super fast but let me check the requirements on charge return all right yeah i want charge return because if i'm under a status effect and i hit someone i get extra damage too and since we have ice shining spark we're literally almost always on a status effect which is fire so that's going to make us do 20 percent extra damage very nice it's just when you have like these extra damage multipliers they really add up and become passive like no offline clarity is a passive on this weapon since it procs fire on every single hit. Charge return is also a passive since when they get put on fire, it goes on to me and I just get uh, a fire stats on my on myself. But because we have emulation, we don't really get hurt by it and we do 30% extra damage on top of the when we get Jet Striker, that's gonna be like 30% extra more damage. So just from Jet Striker, no offline clarity, and charge return alone, that's 60% extra damage. And we still have a lot more other damage boosts as well. And then pair this with our fast swinging heavy weapon that does 50 damage in M1 with lightning cloak it's just amazing powerful all right anyways let's just head to the ice spear thing we didn't have to get the union hook talents because we aren't doing deep trip fossil like i said so we can just drop down here and let's not get hit by the bounders because even though i'm level 16 they still do a ton of damage to me so chill on me please oh you almost got me there oh yeah you thought got your phone and i'm running with it too all right let's just go down here real quick and let's head on over to the ice spear i think the most dangerous thing about layer two is these pillars that fall because they do two bars and then they can chain you into other pillars that are falling it just does like all your health in total here i'm gonna just defeat these guys real quick because i i, I want to check the chest because this chest that spawns actually has a chance to drop a crit blade so i'm gonna just test my luck real quick let's see what we got okay well i said it has a chance to drop a crit blade i'm just not that lucky right so let's just keep going back up and now guys let's just uh go to the cries npc 
and give him his spear or at least tell him that we we took the spear right and then we're almost at chasers like we're doing this super fast okay let's press the button clear our parasites right here i didn't know there was a lantern behind that door for like the longest time um but anyways we're almost at the npc talk to you Ethron's gaze there we go and let's head on over the chaser now we'll beat him up pretty fast since our dps is just insane and then Ethron, and then we just bask in the rewards and i wouldn't be surprised if we actually have uh bell either so if we do get bell i'm hoping for like reaper or something in the way we don't really need reaper because we proc fire on every single one of, one of our m1s so we just like demolish people on the ground very quickly as well it's like six bounders are gonna spawn so we just run past these guys like these bounders are less scary than the bounders at the start of the cave entrance for some reason <laughs> are you thinking stopping me now it's just a little obby that they make us do which is a very laggy obby but it's fine let's just hurry here before the floor breaks make this low jump and okay we're, we're good now okay guys uh one thing i want to do before i do chaser is i want to build up my chain of perfection stacks so i'm just gonna hit this uh bone keeper with my m1s just so we can build up our stacks for those of you that don't know chain of perfection makes you deal two times damage if you don't get hit for 25 m1s so bro, i keep getting get set on fire because of agitating tank spark if we had charge return we'd be doing 30 percent extra damage right now let's just beat this guy up he won't be able to hit us since he's pox broken and we're gonna be able to start oh my i just lost my stacks whatever man i'm just gonna beat him for the chest now it's because the cali server can't blame it uh, on that all right there we go let's check the chest here maester's ring but everything else is trash so and all right guys we are at chaser chaser let me, let me just make sure everything's in order chaser what happened here blah 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 let's just get two free hits on him oh and and a fire proc too he is hurting but uh okay first move he starts with is the most annoying move of his kit where he makes the roof fall down and bro i swear these like the roof fall down move he has has like aim bot where they always know where you are because it always hits me if i'm in the center without fail even why why did he use it to, again like even when i'm blocking it just somehow hits me from the back and it doesn't even matter so because our critical does so much damage i'm just gonna use my critical on uh chaser when he's like on the floor like this because it does like three times more damage than your actual m1 since it's like three swings right so my goal right now is to not get hit even though i feel that goal with the a bone keeper but i want not to get hit so we have chain perfection stacks of bm easier and uh i'm gonna try my best to get rid of these blood jars as fast as i can let's just pre-use the critical like that and yeah this boy is hurting all right guys i'll let you guys know oh my god bro he's already half hp that is crazy guys i'm not even a pvp build i i'm a pve i'm i'm literally just a pvp build not pve and chaser is already half hp that is genuinely crazy the new buffs they did to like uh, pve damage for like lower level people if you're not like level 20 is super crazy because how is chaser already half hp and we we definitely have max chain of fractions right now i wish i really wish there was like a way to tell if you actually have max maybe make your chain of fractions like gold if uh if it was max but the point stands that he's getting defeated super fast i think maybe two more two more uh like waves at this and chaser is definitely done for to be honest so let's keep wailing on him and i I'm, i really wish i had uh <gasps> charge return right now to be honest we're also getting really lucky none of the jars blood jars have been uh on the upper levels which those blood jars are always such a pain so very lucky for us and okay this should be his last wave i think because i took us only two waves to get in half and then only three waves right here let's see no i think okay definitely just one more and then he's actually done for and we actually haven't gotten hit at all during this chaser fight this this damage right here is purely because of agitating spark doing so much damage to us since we don't have immolation but we'll we'll get immolation our next um, uh level up okay i promise so that we stop taking insane amounts of damage fire and that should be the end of chaser hopefully let's see it was so guys i actually found out about this new tech where if you stand on this rock right here you actually won't take any damage which is very very useful i wish i knew this a year ago because i've actually wiped to his last phase thing before <gasps> get me out but uh, ow all right let's just wait here there we go all right let's shift the chest the chest is some trash i'll take the gems though okay now that that's out of the way uh let's go down boys okay uh we're in floor two virginia server four bars of ping which is a lot better than our one bar ping we got in the cali server uh let's just go ahead and light all these lanterns we still actually have our light hook at six minutes left so we have six minutes invincibility let me turn on my gra graphic see if there's chest there there isn't so because there isn't let's just head to the maze now boys uh let's just make the little run here i i have to do my best not get hit by the highlight things 
Bro, it's like a 50% chance I get hit by these things in the progressions. Because they just literally spawn on me and because I'm so impatient and I don't really care if I get hit by it. I end up getting hit by it most of the time, but for all this time, I'm going to do my absolute best not to get hit by it. So, okay, let's just run past here before the highlight thing spawns. Oh, oh, you thought you got me. You didn't. Okay, now this is the last barrier we have. And once we pass here... Okay, now there's no more highlight spots, so we're actually clear from that, thankfully. Also, bro, my food and hunger is going down super fast. I I need to make sure my food and hunger is all good, because I do not want that getting low. All right, then. Let's drop down here. Take some a little bit of... Oh, a little? That was a lot. I'm going to use my flame wisp, and let's just do the maze. I'm, it's not, I'm not proud to say that I actually know the maze code from the top of my head. One, two, one, two, two, two. One, two, three, one, four, two, three, one. Like, that's definitely not my proudest moment, considering I, I, I have a terrible memory. So the fact I can remember a 10 digit code is, is a little concerning and should tell you how much of a no life I am on this game. But that's not the point, okay? The point is to light all the lanterns. So let's just finish up this maze and let's get rich off the medallions, you know? I know I fall off from deep booking if I can't remember that code. That's how I know I really lost my touch. We finished the maze. Let's light this lantern. Also talk to the old man so that we can get uh, monster mantras if we want to. Pro probably not. I just don't want to come back if I have to, right? And let's head to the tower lantern right now so we can actually like that. I remember when the cries guards that were on like the little roof here and sniped you, like that guy that snipes you if you enter the city, actually didn't work and didn't snipe you because you're too far from their aggro range. But it's a shame they fixed it. Oh wait, there's a there was a chest right here. Let me just grab this chest real quick so I don't have to later. Before I before I do the lantern, let's grab this. There we go. Let me also check my old diver's watch to see how much time I've left. Your connection in Clarice is barely intact. That's not what I'm trying to ask. I just want my watch. Okay, we have 11 minutes. Bro, there's no way you just actually slight me, right? We have 11 minutes left, so we're actually balling, chilling on time. Where did that guy come from? What? Where he like appeared out of nowhere? Oh, there's a chest here too. I'm actually getting really lucky with these medallion chests, which is pretty good since we do need a lot of knowledge for this build. Let's light the lantern. There we go. Let's go through here, and now let's head to the sewer. We have three lanterns out of five lit, so hopefully there is a medallion chest in the sewers. That would be pretty nice, so let's see. Your connection is severed. The realization that you're well and truly stranded sets in. Ooh. My food and hunger is rapidly decreasing, so I have to make this fast, to be honest, guys. Okay, let's light you. And there is a medallion chest here. Bro, there's so much medallion chest in this one layer too. I'm actually getting super lucky. Let's just loot all that. And now let's go to the last lantern so the old diver watch stops ticking down. Let's just go to the outskirts over here. And I'm pretty sure I saw a chest actually here when I was uh, first entering here. So let me check one more time. Nope, I guess I was seeing things. I don't actually see any. It's fine. All right, let's light this lantern. Boom, the time stopped ticking down. And now guys, I'm gonna just loot all the medallion chests. And I'm gonna let you guys know how much I actually got. So let me just cut to when I looted all of them. Actually, let me talk to Miserables first and get a 33% power uh, boost. Because I don't want to spend years on Ethron, even though I won't. But I think it's gonna take me maybe three phases to actually defeat him. So that's with the power boost. So if I don't have it, it would take four. So I want to cut it down. So I'm gonna do the power boost real quick. And there's a medallion chest right there too. So it's actually a good thing we came here. Let's loot this. All right, let's talk to you now. Blah, blah, blah. I seek power. I'm interested here are the coins and there we go all right guys i'm gonna just cut to when i have all the medallions now right now we have 28 so let's see how much we end off with all right guys i looted all of uh floor two and bro we came out with 55 medallions 60 if we didn't do the power boost bro this layer two was such a juicer okay one thing is is my food and hunger is rapidly decreasing so i actually read i actually read all your guys' comments and some comments said that when i'm actually low on food and hunger i can actually if i have a canteen i can get the water from here and drink it and they're actually right. So if you guys are ever low on food and thirst, just literally go to the Lightborn spot and drink from the water and you'll be fine, okay? All right, let's go ahead and go to Etheron now. Now that our food and hunger is good, our our thirst is good, not our hunger, to be honest. But and we're, and we're stacked with 55 medallions, so let's head on over now. All right, we're at Etheron. It's time to resist. All right, let's beat him. And then we can um, bell check, which I'm like 70% sure I have belt. 70 30 percent baby dog well hopefully he spawns a bone here bro are you really bro i'm sick and tired of these bosses spamming their ultimate move you know i feel like ethrosh only uses his ultimate move once you know it's like bro you don't see aba characters spamming their ultimate aba characters use their ultimate once that's like their final stand why can ethron use his big one shot big ball a thousand times a, a fight 
This is crazy to me, but let's just parry these bones, put it in, and work my way to that podium as well. Oh my god, he spawned his health packs too. Bro, he spawned his health packs so early that I'm gonna have to just defeat them right now so that when he spawns more health packs, they're not getting stacked. And bro, he's using his ultimate again. See? You're such an ultimate spammer, man. Come on, chill. Oh my god, I just took a bunch of my health gone because of that ultimate move. I need this health pack right now, actually. All right, let's just get this last bone, put it in, and now the second floor spawned. All right, let's just uh fl fill up the podiums here. Shouldn't be that bad. And also, guys, look at this. Look how much M1s I can get in on uh, Etheron on his arm thing. So, for those of you that don't get what I just showed you, and look, of course, you're spamming your ultimate, of course. For those of you that don't get it, I was able to hit Etheron there four times. Usually, you're only able to hit him three times, okay? That's just the show goes to show you how fast this weapon swings if you're actually able to hit Etheron four times before he actually picks up his arm. Like, the Evan, I never see the Evan Spear do that, I'm just saying. And he keeps just spamming his, uh, his, like, hit on me. He's trying to hit me so bad, he just can't. I parry, he gets punished, but there we go. That was the last podium. Another hit, so I'm just getting free hits in. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> All right, let's go up and let's do the last floor. All right, this should be the last bone. And now Ethron is stunned, so let's just wail on Ethron. We don't have, like, PV mantras like, uh, what's that one? Three-star flame move, where it's like the th like the thousand slashes and does a ton of damage. I forgot what it's called, but we just have our M1s here. So... That's still more than enough. Let's pop Lightning Cloak as well. So, look how fast we're swinging with Lightning Cloak. How is this fair? Oh my... Yeah, it, it, it's so wrapped for Etheron. I think maybe just one more stun after this and Etheron is definitely over. Alright. Let's just, uh... Podium literally... What? I just got flung. Podium literally uh, broke in front of us. So, we just put this back in here. Let's drop down here now and find this podium that is broken. Put the bone back... Bruh the bone back in let's get this health pack he just found health packs on every floor but now we're max and yeah it's still wraps for him okay last podium here i'm gonna just get rid of the health pack this here and he's trying to hit me again so let's just hit him again <sighs> okay he spawned the bones and it's all over for him lightning cloak is off cooldown as well so let's just drop down go to his arm let's pop lightning cloak and goodbye goodbye Etheron. this should be his last it's time getting stunned. We're about to face him, I bet. Let's just see. Look how fast we're swinging, though, bro. It's actually insane. Okay, he didn't get two phase. Definitely one more phase after this. Oh, wait. Bro, he, I, he, he was one off from getting knocked. Only reason he got knocked there is because he tried to slam me down. So let's loot this. Okay, I'm going to take I'm gonna take all this stuff. Bloodless. I want the bloodless. I want the blues. Bro, there was three bloodless gems. Jeez. Anyways, let's uh head to... Um, the end now. I do want to loot some extra medallion chests, so I'm gonna be a little bit greedy and make a little detour, but we should be fine. Okay, only thing I'm scared about is getting past the guards in the front, because there's like eight of them, and they, they have like a 10% chance of infinite comboing you, which you guys may not think 10% chance is high, but <laughs> that's really high actually, so. Oh Jesus, as long as I keep spamming my right click, I should be fine. Let's, let's hide within this house. We're literally safe now. We can just go ahead and loot the medallion chests that we see on the way. Oh my god, if I fall here, I actually get wiped. Because I would have fell into the white orbs. But, alright, we're, we're balling though. Let's go up here. Two medallion... The three medallion chests. Four medallion chests in a row. This is genuinely my most luckiest layer to ever. Let's just loot all this stuff. Ba, ba, ba. Get a little greedy. I want to loot over there too. So I'm going to make a little jump. Bah. Ow, I just got sniped. I did the little Peter Griffin like fall. But, alright. I think I'm good. Bro, why did I just get dealt two bars of damage out of nowhere? Okay, I think I'm good on medallions. Let's just leave now because I'm not trying to risk it and wipe. Um, I'm fine with what I have. So let's go in and there we go. Perfect. Okay, we're out. Let's go ahead and talk talk to Claris. Say blah, blah, blah. She's betrayed you. Know anything about this, but you have to offer. And let's just literally spend all our medallions on knowledge now. There we go. We have 98 knowledge. So but it's basically as if we just read uh, that artifact book. So now let's go ahead and spend our knowledge. We're going to be able to do that through... Um, I don't want to like go to the overworld and go to every single shrine. Oh wait, I need the bell check. Hold on. Let me, let me go down to layer two and bell check real quick. There's like a 70% chance I have bell. Pretty sure. We'll, we'll see. All right, we'll see. We're actually, let me, let me level up first. Let me use my ankle weight weight so we can actually level up real quick. And that should give us, that should give us, like if we weren't close to bell, that should uh, help us get bell. So let's just put our agility into agility. There we go. We leveled up. Let's see what we get. Okay. Let's get safety dance. I, I do want that. Let's get meteor impact. Perfect. And bro, there's so much agility talents that we don't have that we actually need. All right. I don't want 
Okay, let's get let's get observation as well. There we go. Can you pass your best PVE? All right, let's go web scaling, boys. There we go. And now let's go down to layer two, and let's just get knocked. So we need to check via bell. All right, uh, we're in layer two. Let me just go ahead and find a bounder real quick that is willing to knock us. So I'll be right back. Uh, so it still says my Jody has potential. Let me see if I can level up further. Oh, no, only for one I could. Let me just drop down here and let's try to get knocked as fast as possible. Come on, where are the bounders at? Oh, that's one. Okay, he's doing a ton of damage to us, so let's just cut to when we're either have Bell or knocked. Let's see. Oh, and there's another one too. Or he just missed though. You just missed too, bro. These bounders suck. All right, we're about to be knocked right here. Let's see. Oh, and we have Bell. Wait, we actually have Bell. Oh my God. And all this sucks, bro. All of this sucks. But I, I, I do want to see something though. If I use crazy slots, right? Am I getting proc fire on every single one of my M1s with crazy slots? No, I won't. What's crazy to me that is that this crazy slot weapon is barely doing uh, like as much damage as as the new legendary weapon. So let's go to the show now, reroll our bell, and also talk about all the shrines that we actually needed to do. All right, that's actually super good that we have bell, guys. So as I was saying before, instead of going to all of the shrines that I need to... Why are there so much mobs here? When the... There, bro, there's a corrupted owl. There's a sharko. There's a jellyfish. Hold on, I'm getting low-key scared now. Let me get rid of the jellyfish. Bro, there's just so much mobs. Uh, what's going on, man? Ah, okay, that's that's the sharko gone. Let me just get rid of everything else. Bah, bah, bah. There we go. It's like it's like there was a boulder event, and that's why all the mobs are here. I'm actually super confused. We can just spam our critical, and we should be fine. Okay, that's the owl gone. And now just finally the lionfish. What is happening to the lionfish? Why is his head in the ground? There we go. The divers are not happy with me, but uh, let's see. We'll perhaps call on, take that. Okay, boys. Um, As I was saying, again, instead of going to the surface and going to all the shrines that we actually need, uh, Yun Shul, they added an update where they added the last two remaining deep shrines that they were missing from Yun Shul. So we're actually going to head to Yun Shul now and literally just do everything, like spend all our knowledge at Yun Shul. So uh, yeah, let's just head on over right now. We're here. Let me just uh, get 25 Jody real quick so we can actually uh, get what we need. Wait, can I level up with a Jody because of those mobs? Let me check real quick. No, I can't. Okay. Anyways, let's open this door. Okay. Let's go inside. Now, let's firstly reroll our bell. Okay. I'm a little gambling addict. I want to know what I'm, what I'm going to get. So, powers I've been granted displease me. Let's see what we get instead. Let's skeleton key, run it back. Okay. I'm going to just get run it back instead. It's pretty valid. I'm just going to have to reroll it though. I'm, I'm going to have to untarnish it. As for the talents I actually want, there's a lot of talents that we're actually missing, which is why we actually did all that. So, the first thing, the talent that we're actually missing is, bro, I picked Safety Dance and Observation on Accident. I wanted Risky Moves instead. So, we're going to reroll both of those and see what we get. Oh, we got Speed Demon and Warding Radiance. And, stat bro, all of those talents is stuff we actually wanted, right? So, let's reroll Safety Dance now. There's a ton of rares we actually want. So, let's get Risky Moves now. There we go. Um, let's get rid of closed circuit and instead of closed circuit, I want, I'm looking for scaredy cat talents for condition runner and also butterfly talents, but we got anxious guard. That's pretty good. Let's just keep rolling, re-rolling the common talents that we don't actually want like pack mule and I'll let you guys know when I get the talents that I actually want. Oh, we got warding radiance as well. I rolled a rare for that. Okay, bet. Oh, we got swift bet. Oh my God. Two of the talents we actually wanted swift rebound and scaredy cat. We'll get swift rebound first. Let's just keep rolling. Oh, a frozen talent, actually. Immolation. Nice. You know what we can do is we can um, get rid of Onslaught and Fire Forge real quick. So let me put, let me uh, talk to this shrine. Oh, no, this is the wrong shrine. Let me talk to uh, this shrine, I think. Yeah, there we go. So let's get rid of Onslaught because we're not actually going to use it. So we got full reset. That's actually really good. And Concussive Force. Let's also get rid of Fire Forge since we have all the Fire Forge talents. We're not going to be using it. So we got Closed Circuit and Spinning Swordsman. That's pretty good. But... Uh, we didn't get a lot of the talents we actually wanted, so let's just reroll closed circuit now. Phoenix Impact, sure. Get rid of Concussive Force. Phoenix Flames, we don't actually want that, so we're just going to burn it. Let's get Aggressive Posture instead. Let's see. Bruh, can I please get the talents I want? Oh, we got Blade Dancer. Okay. Come on, give me some more. Okay, let me just burn all this, and I'm fairly sure I can level up. So let me use my Inca Weights real quick, because we do need 50 agility. So let's just try to get that real quick. Let's see... I'm going to have to like run for like one minute. So let me just do that real quick. Okay, we leveled up. Two talents. Hopefully some stuff we actually want. Let's just uh, burn all this stuff. Oh, we got Flame Walker. Okay, that's actually what we wanted. And our last talent. Let's see. All right, we got Static Fake Out. So let's just burn everything else here. Get Static Fake Out. And okay, we'll get Flaming Scourge. Uh, 
This might be Grand Javelin, actually. Let me check. Let's see. Oh, it's Storm Blades. Well, we can actually reroll Storm Blades with uh, the shrine. So let me talk to this. Let's reroll Storm Blade and see what new monsters we get. Okay, we got Flash Fire Sweep. I'll take that. I'm gonna just use Fire Blade for now, though. Uh, we do need to get our Oath so we can actually, um, you know, so we can actually get some more mantras in our inventory. So, um, let me just get 50 agility real quick, guys. And let me also escape to the overworld. Pretty sure if I defeat a mob, it'll give me, like, a lot of agility training. So let me just defeat this guy real quick and see how much we get. Okay, defeated. Let's see how much we got from that. Oh, we actually got a ton. We got, like, three. Okay. All right, now let's go to the overworld now. Up we go. We defeat the Enforcer. Let's go up now. Up we go. All right, guys, uh, now that we're in the overworld, uh, what I want to do is let's just get Jess Striker real quick. So what I'm going to do is just sail to Minitresa and um, yeah, we're going to get the Jess Striker Oath real quick because we have been, bruh, we didn't get our Oath until the finale. That's kind of crazy. Loki min Max is boat a little, so that's why it took so long. Oh my god, none of my ships are in good condition to be summoned. I literally broke it because I decided to ram into the whirlpool, so I'm going to have to swim to Minitresa. If it isn't like the consequences of my actions, it's actually crazy, but let's just swim, I guess. I guess while I'm swimming, I'll just use my agility uh, anklets and level up my agility. Because we're almost at 50 to get the oath anyways. But we're almost there. Alright guys, we are at Minitresa. Uh, 49 agility, so we're about to get 50. But let's just head to the Jet Striker oath guy. Get Jet Striker, and then we'll do some bounty so we can actually uh, get the Jet Striker moves pretty quickly. So uh, yeah, let me just head on over there real quick. Boom, 50 agility, so we're actually all set now all right we're here let's talk to you blah 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 and okay we're gonna have to race this guy now to the little red thing so we actually get our oath so we can literally just speed our way over there looks like he's ahead of us but he he like takes the longest route ever to get atop this hill i don't think bro knows how to climb to be honest so we can literally just jump up here and boom we're, we're here now let's just wait like 20 seconds for him to actually catch up to us all right blah 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 i'll follow your oath and boom Okay, guys, we have Jet Striker. Now, what we need to do is we need to get uh, the five Jet Striker orbs to actually progress Jet Striker to max. There's a single, there's actually an orb right here. So let's just get this one real quick and give it back to him so we get our next talent. So let me just get this Jet Striker orb real quick. All right, there we go. Let me go back to the Jet Striker trainer so we can get um, our talent for that orb. Let me speak to you. I'm looking at Vans and boom. Okay, so now we just need four more orbs. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna go to the Void Eye and just to make getting the orbs quick i'm just going to teleport the people or at the locations of the orbs so there's two orbs at lorisia one at etris and one at loris uh one at vigils so i'm just going to take uh, bounties on people at those locations uh defeat them and then just go ahead and get those orbs so yeah that's what i'm gonna do so let's serve out for bounties real quick guys all right guys uh i've got bounties at lorisia it's like three people oh they're val, Ma val mastery too so let's just go in here right oh it's four people Okay, well, we just need to grip these guys real quick since uh, if we... Well, I, I just have to grip my bounty because we need to grip my bounty because there is two... There is two um, Jet Striker spots here that we actually need. So, oh, of course, he is Vision Shaper, bruh. Well, let me just hard target him. Why does that NPC have Ice ice Eruption, bro? Am I hitting a clone? Where is the guy I'm, tr I'm trying to be fighting right now? I'm so, like... Bro, that was a clone. Here, let's just do this. We don't even hit him. Okay, there we go. All right, let's just fight him. Let's do... Oh, he has his friends. Bro, there's so much people. And I just want to finish this bounty just so I can get the two Jet Striker things that I actually need for my oath, right? So chill on me, man. Oh, some, someone just got knocked. He's knocked as well. Let's just leave him on the ground. He just got resurrected. He just got resurrected. What? Isn't he the Vow Mastery guy? How did he just get resurrected? What? Oh my god, he used sacrifice. That's how. He's trying to leave. Bro, there's no way, right? Yeah, you're you're funny. You really are funny. No, we parry this. We do uh, fire blade. Okay, he's knocked. Oh my god, bro. And now all his friends are on me. Here, I'm willing to... I'm down to fight you guys in the water. Don't, don't worry. Bro, he got... Res he used sacrifice when he was knocked. Ah, <sighs> Jesus, man. Here, let's just spam this critical. Why is he getting dropped, though? That's, like, why well, I'm confused. So, let's pick him up. That's not him. That's not him. What? Bro, I picked up the freshie, not him. Okay. 
Let's fight. Bro, I keep getting... I keep, um... He's trying to sacrifice off his friends right now, bro. How many must die for you to live? I don't get it. <sighs> bro, it's like, where are these guys even coming from? Imagine... Oh my god! <gasps> There's no way, right? There actually is no way. Boom. This could be his third time getting knocked after being healed from full. Which I think is about to be crazy. Ow. Bro, please! Uh, I just want my... I literally just want my... um, What's it called? Oh my god. Okay, you guys are getting knocked. So I can get health pack. There we go. Boom. Let's just knock you. Parry. I guess. That boy's gonna burn. Wait, he got knocked again? He got knocked again. Oh, Jesus, man. I just have to knock this guy and then I'll be fine. Okay. Let's do... Boom. Pop. Bro, one of them's talking in Roblox VC right now. Oh, yes, Immortal! Nice, you're cooked. Okay. Alright, I'm burning him. Okay. Um, this guy's about to get up. That boy's getting burned. Your friend's not saving you. Okay, burn. Burn. Bro, they are glazing this dude so hard! Jesus! Sacrifice Ray. Boom. No, you're not. You're not getting up. All of you guys aren't getting up. Look at what you guys have to do. Oh, I turned into a villain, but I don't even care. I'm gonna grip you myself, actually. Okay? That's how mad I am. And I'm not even gonna loot the I'm not even gonna loot no more. Okay, guys. Well, now that we're at a lower Risa, let's just go ahead and get the Jet Striker orbs. Since we had to do all that. That was actually like crazy, bro. That was it's whatever, man. Let's just go get the orbs. This guy came back, so one second. This guy is so bad that he didn't even make it into the fight, bro. Got off screened. Let's go, let's just remember that we got our oath, so we can actually equip flame assault now. So there we go. Let's just go get our first chest record orb. Let me also equip flash fire sweep and put it on five. There we go. Now we're balling. Also, let me level up as well. So let me use, uh, let me level up my fortitude. Okay, guys, we leveled up. Let's see what we get. Evasive expert. Yes, please. Ghost. Nice. That's actually what we wanted. We want ghost. And grand javelin. Nice. Okay, we'll place flash fire, flash, uh, flash fire sweep. And we'll get a uh, Grand Jalen. That's actually a mantra we actually wanted from the start. Perfect, bro. I th think things are coming together nicely. Okay, weapon scaling, of course. And now, let's get the orb. Okay, this is our second one. Let's go get our third one right now. And boom. Okay, our third orb. Just two more to go. One at Vigils and one at uh, Nomad. So let's go ahead and find some bounties that are either at Nomad or Vigils. I hate him. If I catch him, it's... If I catch him bent, it's over. If you catch who bent, it's over, huh? Bro. If you get true, it bets it's over, huh? That's what I thought. All right, guys. I have some bounties at Nomad, so let's just beat them up so we can get our fourth Jet Record Orb. So let's just ram into them. Boom. We hit both of them. It's two people. Should be fairly simple. Let's hit them with the Grand Javelin. Dude, this guy's just AFK. Like, hello? Boom. A Rising Thunder. That guy's gonna... Oh, I was hoping that he would have got sent. Like, um... What's it called? Off? Off the cliff? Where did our guy come from? But we're balling. Let's use our lightning cloak so we swing as fast as a dagger. He's also a jet striker as well, but it don't matter. Oh, that other guy just got uh, defeated, but here, let's ram into you. Boom, boom. And this is going to be really fast. I, it's to be expected that these bounties would be really fast, considering that our weapon does so much damage, right? So, why is this guy trying to run now? <sighs> just, you, just, just you wait until my Grand Javelin comes off cooldown, okay? Just you wait. Oh, the other Void Walker is here. Bro, he's just running. Oh, and he sniped him. Okay, uh, let me let me grip. There we go. Hopefully, I don't get teleported out. Okay, perfect, guys. All right, well, let me just head to Lord Regent since uh, we, we're not going to get teleported out here. And let me just get the, the orb, you know? Let me get the orb. And then, literally only one place left to go, and that would be uh, IO Vigils. And then we have maxed out Jet Striker, which is going to be very, very good for us. Okay, the guards are after me, but let me just go all the way up here. And boom, our final orb is at Vigil, so let's go ahead and teleport to someone that's at Vigil's. Alright guys, looks like I just have one bounty at Isle Vigil, so let me do the most extra thing ever and do- No! He's gonna- He's gonna log! Okay, there we go. He can't log for me now, guys. I just put him in combat because the Grand Javelin. What'd he say? What? What does that mean? What does Mon Supa mean? I actually have no clue. Okay, the guards are all after me, but it doesn't matter. Let's activate Lightning Cloak, and let's piece this guy up. 
Why is Barrel Parry Demon? I don't know, but... <sighs> oh! Bruh, I thought we were going to miss that, not going to lie, but... All I have to do now is just spam click and I win with this guy, to be honest, guys. Because <laughs> we swing so fast, and bro, we're literally parrying everything. Uh, the the Vigils guys, he's at one sec. Uh, what do you mean one sec? What? We gonna run? Who's gonna run? Boom. Let's do Fire Blade. Bro, I just want to, to finish off this guy so that I can get, um, what's it called? My last chest striker thing. So let's hit him with the Grand Javelin. We missed terribly, actually. Vent him off. Ba ba. Boom. Fire Blade. And he should be cooked. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, he's cooked. We still have Lightning Cloak active, too. So we're just swinging at the speeds of a dagger. And yeah. GG. There we go. That's the end of um, the Vigil's bounty. A chest, too. Let's see. Nothing good inside. Let's just go ahead and get the Vigil thing now, boys. Okay, it's down there. Let me just drop down. Boom. Okay, now one last location. Okay, also let me buy a boulder because I do want to level up. We're going to go 50 fortitude. I mean 40 fortitude this prog. So let me buy a boulder. There we go. Let me see if I can actually level up here. I'm just going to spam click this thing. Okay, close. All right, anyways, guys, let me go ahead and take a bounty at Minatrisa so that we can just teleport to the Void Walker guy. If I'm lucky. Wait, why is the Void Heart here? I mean the, the Void Zone here. Okay, if I'm lucky, this should be my last bounty. Hopefully he doesn't log on me or something. I think he's all the way down here, though. Yeah, he's in the water fighting, like, three people. What the heck? Bro, what is going on here? I'm so confused. Oh, he's, fi bro, he's fighting two Void Walkers. You know, make make that three. <laughs> make that three. I'm just saying. And there's a Void um, Zone, too, which I don't want to grip him in the Void Zone. But I'm not the one that put it down, so it's fine. Uh, I'm, only, I'm only here because I didn't want to steal the Minotrisa, to be honest. Let's do our Rising Thunder. Okay, into our fire blade, and he's cooked. All right, I'm gonna steal this bounty from these void walkers because it's my bounty. I came here last, so it's it's what I deserve. So let me go to land. Let me grand javelin them as well. So never have I seen myself get jumped by three void walkers at once. Let me just hit him on the ground so we can actually do damage to him. And uh, let's grip. There we go. Bounty complete. And these void walkers should get teleported out on three, three, two. What? Bro, he is not getting teleported out. But anyways, let's go to the Just Striker guy now. And let's see if we can actually level up as well with our boulder. Oh, I forgot we have autodidact points, actually. Let me just chop down a tree. Okay, let's use our autodidact points. There we go. We leveled up. We're actually max level now. Let's see what we get. Uh, let's... I don't want any of this stuff. So, I'm gonna just burn that stuff. I'll get low stride. Sure, why not? Since the critic, there is a critical with crouching. Endurance Runner, thank you. That's what I wanted. Uh, are we gonna get Condition Swimmer, Condition Runner here? Scaredy Cat. Okay, bet. So our next talent will get, um, what's it called? We'll get, uh, I forgot the name. Condition Runner. So let's max our weapon scaling. And guys, the rest of our points is going to go into Fortitude for 40 Fortitude. But let me just get the Just Wrecker thing. But we are max level now. So that's pretty good. Keep in mind, guys, we didn't go Just Wrecker for the Just Wrecker moves. We went Jet Striker for the passive 30% damage uh, increase. So basically, on every single one of our M1s, we now proc Bleed. And that's guaranteed because Jet Striker has a passive where when you hit someone, you get a speed boost. And that speed boost gets converted into bleed straight away on that single on one. I tested it and it literally procs on every single on one. So Jet Striker equals 30% extra damage for free. So we're not going to be using any of uh, the mantras, to be honest, from Jet Striker. We only want it for the passive. So let's just go ahead and get it right now. Okay, trainer, I got all the orbs for you. Uh, we don't want any of your mantras. We just want the passive. And there we go, guys. We maxed out Jet Striker. We're level 20. We're going to get 40 Fortitude and the rest into Flame Charm off cam. But yeah, guys, you guys know this weapon is overpowered when I actually finished the progression in three days. I didn't make you guys wait like a month, right? So this is definitely the best build for this new legendary weapon. So I recommend you guys, if you guys get this weapon, to copy it. Because now, let me just show you guys real quick. Here, let me just show you guys on these MCs. So because of the Jet Striker, as you guys can see, you guys see the little blood that's coming out of them when I hit them. That's Speed Demon proccing on every single one. Like, this guy right here, this guy right here, when I hit him once, you guys are going to see... Ah, uh, where he thinks I'm trying to attack him. Which, not wrong completely. He, he really fell all the way down here. Really? Oh, he was cheating! He was cheating! He flew! Bro, Deep Pokemon Cheater is crazy. And I got his name. See, I'm too lazy to actually report cheaters, guys. I'm not going to lie. But that's why he dropped all the way down to get, like, fly through the walls that's crazy bro i was just trying to show off uh speed demon i'll proc out every one bro that's so crazy 
<gasps> bro, cheating in 2024 is crazy. Okay, well, we just call a cheater. I'm not going to report him because I'm too lazy to. So if you guys are watching this video, you guys can report him yourself. Just make a report ticket. I just can't be bothered. But uh, yeah, that's the end of this progression. This really is the best build for this weapon. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys and bye-bye.